And some cities like nearby Osceola have a local tax to fund projects along the river like dredging. Young men can face a lot of pressure trying to do well in school, stay out of trouble, and make something of themselves. In Whitehaven, a gym owner has opened the doors of his facility to young men to help meet those challenges and reach their goals. That's why the Transforming Bodies and Minds Youth Development Program is this week's Bright Spot. Here's WREG's Markova Reed. From the gym where the boys learn to box and lift weights to the classroom where mentors and tutors speak. Everything here is about making the mind and body better. I felt like if I had had a program something like this or in my neighborhood growing up, it would have kept me from making some of the bad decisions that I, I made. Roland Genesee isn't your typical gym rat. He was a troubled youth who turned to working out as a release. He eventually became a professional bodybuilder and opened his own gym. Then he set out to mentor boys who were going down the same road he had traveled. I know that young men need attention and they're going to do anything to get it, whether it's positive or negative. This isn't a program just for troubled or at-risk boys. It's about giving young men a safe place to hang out, a place where they can learn fitness and nutrition and how to develop into men. Just for young men that need to be a part of a program, a brotherhood. About 70 young men have completed the program, and because of their success, some of them come back to mentor others. That makes me feel so good. I, it makes me feel like, you know, what I'm doing is, that is working. Germany Ingram says transforming bodies and minds is working for him. The senior at Southwind says he wanted to get fit and stronger. It's kept me on track, kept my confidence up, being able to push myself past numbers I didn't think I had. The program takes in 15 new boys every three months. They meet twice a week at the gym, and there are outings every other weekend. It's all free to the boys and made possible by generous donors who give their money and time to help the young men. I just want to try to keep them around positive people, positive things, and make a positive impact in their life. As a successful minority business owner, Roland is a positive role model these boys can see and touch. Markova Reed, News Channel 3. And keep in mind, Transforming Bodies and Minds is looking for more sponsors and more mentors. If you'd like to help, we have information in the on-air section of our website at WREG.com. And if you have an idea for Bright Spot, send Markova an email, tweet, or message on Facebook.